Hi there and welcome back to CNC Modeler. Today we're going to be looking at the Z-axis assembly on my uh, Polar printer. So uh, the first job I've got is this um, brass T-nut for the uh, lead screw on the Z-axis. I want to be able to mount it so uh, I need to fit this into bracket and the bracket I want to use is just a uh, rail support. Uh, uh, so uh, basically this thing's uh, 26 mil in diameter give or take and then if we have a look at the rail supports the hole that it needs to go into is roughly 20 millimeters diameter so i need to knock off uh knock down the diameter and then i also want to have it so that it's uh, partially embedded in there and then uh, try and leave as much of the thread support as i can not really that there's a lot of load but anyway so this is my uh Nova turn uh, CNC lathe. I'm not actually um, driving it in uh, CNC mode. I'm just using the manual jog buttons on the keyboard at my laptop to do this and just nipping in with the calipers every now and then to uh, make sure I've got the right size. Um, so, uh, yeah, a few goes at that. And uh, when we get around to the end, uh, I'm just going to uh, change the tool here on the tool carousel come back in and just knock the edge off on the uh, outside of that uh, tina and then the edge with a file just on the inside there as you can see this is how i've been driving the machine um, just a touch screen on my laptop uh, so uh, yeah so now that fits into the mounts and uh, we're kind of ready uh, to put that on the lead screw and uh, offer it up to the machine so uh, yeah um, I think the main thing I want to do is just uh, try and get this all working uh, and just prototype it up. So the, uh, the T-nut clamps onto the back of the uh, Z-axis platform and then uh, I've got a pillow block uh, to mount the, uh, uh, to attach the lead screw to the chassis. And then we're going to drive on top of that. Um, so I tried running it up and down a bit and uh, it's a bit squeaky and I'll let you hear the sound of that uh, later. Um, I also had to try and figure out a way to shim the, uh, the pillow block away from the mounting plate at the back there just to try and get in and uh, just hold everything there together and then as you can see the measurement I took was the, the size of shim that I need is um, four mil hopefully you can see that there uh, I need to get better at showing you guys stuff uh, on camera and then uh, so what I found I found something that was uh, four mil and it was an allen key uh, it's not exactly the best packer uh, to do uh, but uh, I'm sure I'll figure out something more permanent later I just want to get an idea of how all this stuff uh, runs and then uh, I came and I had a, a bit of a problem in that uh, the end of the lead screw wouldn't fit in my battery drill. So I found uh, one of my punches would fit in the end of a uh, joiner uh, that I've got, a coupler. Um, and that coupler was, is sized to fit on, well, it's sized to fit on a stepper motor and then on the lead screw. As you can see, uh, that. Um, that allen key is not the greatest of shims to hold this stuff in place while I'm mucking about with it and I had no end of um, fun just trying to get it all together as you can see and uh, but eventually I got it so that I could run it up and down fairly consistency enough for sort of practicing and so uh, yeah it seems to work all right I've tried putting some lube on but I still get this squeaking noise and, uh, I think I need to figure out how that's going to work. And if you've got any advice, then I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Um, so anyway, there you go. Uh, that's all for this video. If you do like my channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It does help. If you like the videos, hit that thumbs up. Tells other people they're worth watching. And if you want to see more stuff, hit that notification bell. If you also want to help me out, um, I do have a Patreon account. And the links uh, to that and my website are showing here. And if you do like what you've been seeing, maybe you'll like some of my other videos that are linked here. So thanks for watching and hopefully see you again next time. Cheers.